Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Vaporum. We're going up in the dungeon, doing our best, keeping things under control. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, a helmet, always welcome. And worker gloves, but I think ours are better, yes, because they give resistance. We're not using the cow bar anymore, but still. What have we here? A soul maid? My foreman, Mr. Venge, seems like a decent fellow. He's got a good sense of humor in all, but I can't let him get too close to me. Can't let anybody get close to me, not after losing my soulmate Lisa. She was so bright and warm, only she got her nose too deep into the Fumium research. I did warn her, but she just won't listen. So I've dedicated myself to work, work and nothing else. Keeps me occupied and keeps the blues away. Ben Kinley, Talia. Today is the most beautiful day in my life. I found out that I'm pregnant. Marcus and I will have a baby. But still, raising a child here in the tower, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I will have to protect it from the effects of the Fumium. The thing is, I'm starting to doubt that we really know anything about its power or influence. I'm pretty sure, though, that if it proves to be dangerous to the baby, Marcus and I will go back to the Capital Island. We'll be a family, and that's much more important than any research or benefits from the Bureau. Ah, I can't agree more to that. Okay. Ooh, a basic blowtorch. Unleash a wave of fire in a line. That's a blow... Um, flamethrower, basically, I guess. Why is it not active? Ah, it needs a lot of energy to work. Okay, I get the point. Um, roachlings. We've discovered cockroaches here in the Axvaporum. They must have found their way in of the supplies of a fruit batch. We quickly decided to eradicate them, but Laura stepped in with a bold idea. We'll use them for research. We feed Funium and had fruit hash to these little pesky creatures. Well, little, they're growing fast. We had to build holding cells for them as they started to lash out at us. Very agile, quick and hard to contain. I hope these roachlings won't become too strong to break out of the cells. Otherwise, their growth and behavior is marvelous. But the risk we cannot foresee, I'm afraid. Chen chains, substance field assistance. And that is... When burning a target and the nearby allies will take some damage over time, enemies capable of causing burning are resistant to burning themselves, and that makes sense. Ah, I get the point. And how long does this... Well, let me guess. If I put that button, that thing opens. Okay, I think I got it. Obviously I was too slow. How does that thing open? Ah, oh, come on! Was I so slow? Yeah, I fear I am too slow. It's just one notch away, actually. Yeah, that was too slow again. And I bet we're in a whole lot of pain now. Perhaps we should drop something on that. Um, no. Doesn't do anything. Ah, 
Ow. Now this is a problem. We're taking far too much damage here. Okay, might be that's an idea to burn that thing down. Can we do that? No, it's still not enough energy there to burn through that. But I bet there's something in there. Ooh, acid red roach. Although the population of roaches did not originally possess any form of acid attack, some of them now have developed a strong spitting mechanism inside the mandibles. The ball of spit tends to burst into a pool of acid on impact, very toxic with possible long-lasting effects on health. I believe it was due to the dye that they were fed group a different volume of melim uh, as we fed each group a different variant of vomium based food. I need to get some statistical data on this to be sure. Okay. The acid effect. When splashed by acid, the target's healing and repairing abilities are greatly reduced, and they take some damage over a short period of time. Enemies capable of spraying acid are resistant to all acid. Yeah, we know that. That is pretty obvious. A rope, a quest item, good to know. And that is a basic protector, which increases. So that's another gear. Man, do we have a lot of gears. I wonder... Well, we should take some repairs anyway. How close are we to next level? Yeah. Better get some repairs going. Just in case. Because this looks like a place for fighting. In my eyes. Oh wait, we know this place. So this is basically a shortcut. Yay! The bridge should be safe to cross now. Well, it sounds like Big Boss to me. Look on the map for a moment. Okay. Okay, I need some string or something like it to tie the pieces together. That Yay. should do it. Wonderful. I need a key. Okay. More ammunition. We have arrived. Finally, our new home here at the Arch Vaporum. I'm impressed by what the Bureau has accomplished. It's gargantuan. Can't wait to unpack and start working. Being stranded here in the middle of the ocean like this worries me a little, but the tower feels strong and safe. I'm pretty sure no cut Kenyut will repeat ever again. The research on the Fumium shows promise. Maybe I'm dreaming here, but it could just happen to be the next marvel of the world, and we'll be right in the thick of things. I'm so looking forward to taking over and continuing the project, and the best thing about it is the fusion of family and working life combined together. Okay, I cannot spray into that, obviously. Did you hear that? There is something in the walls. That sounds like something flying.
How is that supposed to work? Ow. Okay. Whoa, that's evil. What is that? A rusty sword, we've got those already. Repair kit, which is welcome. Ammunition, which is welcome. A rusty key, which is welcome. Another great success. Today, the local coordinator for the Bureau and Chief Officer of the Arcs, Marcus Reich, appointed me Deputy Foreman of Manufacturing. I'll take care of workshops, maintenance, and manufacturing itself. I'm so proud that Mr. Reich recognized my accomplishments. He's a role model to me. Not only is he an experienced scientist and a veteran of the island wars against the rebels, he's also the ideal man for the job. An excellent choice by the Bureau to lead the project. He and his wife Laura are the perfect model of how I picture my life in the future. And how am I supposed to get back? Oh, you're kidding me. Well, that hurt. I need more room to maneuver. Well, that was close. I'm using up a lot of resources here. But that was so obviously a trap, what could I do? How are we with the Fumium? Yeah, still need some. But we'll have a level up soon. Uh, excuse me? Thank you, sir. Yeah, oh, no, this is bad. Oh, you're kidding me. No more room to maneuver here. Why do I get the crazy guys? Ow. 
And I missed great. At least now he's dead. There's no way that was human. Or was it? I'm not sure of anything now. That was totally my fault. I absolutely ruined this one. I used up so many resources for absolutely no reason. I outmaneuvered myself. Oh, that's life. And it didn't even get a level up. Well, let's go up. We're not taking any repair kits any more because we're low on them anyway. So, well. We stop it here and we'll see each other next time. I know that was not my best performance in melee, but I will get better, I, I promise. See you all next time. Bye.